Hi, high performer. I so love seeing you here. Today, let us talk about how you can transform your failures uh, into successes in just a matter of seconds. This is Maria Linden, mentor and high performance coach, helping you to reach success and fulfillment. Okay, we have all had setbacks. We have all experienced um, failure. We have all felt like losers. And you know what? That is just wonderful. That is part of life and it's also part of your growth. Today, we're going to talk more specifically about how you can turn those failures, those setbacks and feeling like a loser into feeling like a winner, into progressing, into seeing the actual gold. Okay, we often talk about miracles and a miracle, my friend, is a shift in your own perception. It may sound easy, but sometimes it can be really hard. But the beautiful thing is that once you learn to really master this, to allow and enable the miracle to occur, you will be able to shift not just your perception, but really about your results, how you feel about yourself, how you view the world in just a matter of seconds once you learn to do this. One of the things that are holding you back is going to be your self-judgment. Your self-judgment when something isn't going as planned or the way you had hoped for or your ego wanted it to be, it's going to be thoughts and feelings like, I'm not enough, I'm such a screw up, or why did I do that? I know so much better. Oh, I'm just such a mess, I'm just hopeless. Or just like, why, why did this happen to me? It's like life was punishing you. But instead of being in this fearful and judgmental thinking about yourself, about your results, about the things that are happening to you, I want you to learn how to shift into the loving way of thinking at it. So this is the loving perspective and it is really the lens of truth. So let's say you have, um, you have, for example, had a sales call and your ego wanted it to go a certain way. It wanted to bring in that client and those money. So it's telling you, you're such a screw up. You made a mistake or why did you do that? You know, you should be doing this instead. What I would like for you to do here is instead I want you to go into the love based thinking. And this is really about you viewing it from a different level, from a higher level, from a different perspective. And it just, just see, okay, so what did I learn? Thanks to this. What did I realize? Thanks to this setback or failure or challenge. What did I realize on you many times where we can need to like really rediscover truths and insights and learnings and lessons. And we're going to attract these as long as we still need to really integrate these and also to like really just like bring them up again to really use them and to integrate it deeper in our systems. So uh, I really want to say though, that it's always important for you to feel what you are feeling. You always need to be true to yourself. You always need to honor your feelings. If you're feeling upset, be upset for a while. If you're feeling sad, be sad. If you feel disappointed, allow yourself to feel that. Don't skip it. But there is also a next step. And this is where you need to let go of this and you need to move on. And the quicker you can do this, the quicker you can stop blaming yourself and judging yourself and beating yourself up for what happened in the past, which is not like even real anymore. You will be able to feel such a joy, such a relief, such an empowerment. And in this case, it could be, for example, okay, I realize I shouldn't overwhelm and come with too many offers or options. Or it might be, for example, hmm. Okay, this is interesting. This is something that my ideal customer or my prospects and the people I want to work with is feeling. These are their challenges. These are their fears or insecurities or doubts. And this will help you to take the next step in how you are, for example, presenting it or how you are listening to them or how you are meeting them and what you can do in order for them to feel safe and know that this is right for them. So that is just one example of many. And it can also be, of course, about anything in life or in your relationships uh, and uh, with your health. So even if you knew you weren't supposed to like eat that unhealthy stuff, like still you did it, don't feel bad about it. Just see, okay, this is what I need to think about the next time. Or you might say, for example, well, you know what? I ate that crap and now I am feeling like crap. 
Uh, hmm. Okay, no to myself. <laughs> this is the result I'm gonna get. So sometimes you just need to stop releasing um, those, um, I shouldn't say releasing, but sometimes you just need to release it. And sometimes you just need to move on. And the quicker you can do this, the quicker you will feel so much better and be able to create much better results for yourself in your life and in your work and business. My friend, that was everything that I wanted to share with you today. Let us now summarize what we have been covering in today's training. So when you want to go from feeling like a failure in, and, and feeling like a loser into being a winner, this is what you will do. You will enable the miracle, meaning going from the fear-based thinking, the judgmental thinking about yourself in the situation or other people into the love-based way of viewing it and perceiving it. And with this, you will focus on what is the win, what is the insight, what is the goal, what is the learning, what is the lesson that I have gotten thanks to this challenge, thanks to this so-called setback. And in this way, you are perceiving this situation that you previously felt was just totally bad and screwed up and into seeing it with gratitude and love and being able to bring up this gold for yourself to use in your life and in your work and business. Sending you so much love, my friend. Start practicing this. The more you do it, the more easy it will become. It will be a natural way for you to live and lead yourself in life and at work. And if you like this tip and if you like this video, also make sure you go to www.lindenmaria.com and sign up for my newsletter because that way I will be able to send you my latest video. So with tips just like this one, plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonuses that I only share with you in email. With all my heart, may this serve you. And remember this, you have the power to create miracles in your life and in your business.